Well, I mean, the thing that drew me to it most of all, besides it being really funny, was that it was a chance to work with my wife, because she'd already got the job, and uh, I was going to be here anyway with the kids, and uh, when she told me, well, you know, they haven't cast the role of my husband yet, I was like, oh, that's, you know, that's fun. We met working on a show uh, way back when, uh, so it's, all, I, I, it's always fun when I get to work with her. Yeah, he's kind of the butt, he's like, he's sort of like the low status guy that's like the butt of all the abuse, um, you just gotta have one of those. Uh, he, you know, to me, the, this is kind of, it's a status comedy, uh, it's about everybody is trying to, you know, jockey for position and status with each other, uh, with Van Hilda, and uh, James is just the lowest lowest status, lowest of the low, doesn't seem to be interested in changing it, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a funny kind of uh, counterpoint, I guess. The, the great thing about it is that sometimes when you're working with a director, you're like, I hope he has a sense of humor, you know? When he wrote the script and it's funny, then you're like, oh, I know, I know he has a sense of humor because he, he wrote the thing. And, uh, and so I think he brings that ear to it. Um, he can hear it in his head, and he, he knows uh, he knows when he's got it. You know, he knows when you're you're kind of hitting it, and, and uh, he'll ask for another one if you're not quite there yet. So that's that's always helpful. It's, this cast is great because it's you know it's just not only is it like talented actors, but it's it's pros. Um, you know, Kathleen Turner uh, is somebody that like I remember I remember seeing *Romancing the Stone*. I think it was high school you know and uh and her just her career since then you know the trajectory the different kinds of things she's done the both comedy drama the the voiceover stuff that she's done um it's just it's always a it she's a treasure you know what i mean those uh someone with that kind of wealth of experience is a treasure so if you just soak up the story and you see how they kind of conduct themselves on the set it's uh that's always great. Um, the design is great. The, the production team did a fantastic job on the, on the design because the sets are great. They're kind of nuanced. You really get the sense of the character of this place and just the kind of wackiness of Aunt Hilda. Um, the costumes are hilarious. I thought they did a great job of really, everybody's kind of dressed from a different world. So, uh, which I think is, is kind of important in farce because everybody's moving so quickly that it's, you want to easily be able to know, okay, that's that person, that's that person, and keep everybody straight. And I thought they did, they, you know, David's stuff was just all this lounge lizard, you know, like fantastic, you know, and uh, honest, like rock and roll, uh, you know. Tony and I are a little more normal. I'm like kind of like, I think I'm a Banana Republic catalog basically, um, you know, and row. It, yeah, it, it's just they did, a, they did a great job on the design. Um, yeah. This is the kind of movie I think you just, you just want people to enjoy it. Uh, this is a movie where you just want people to go on for the ride, uh, have some laughs, uh, come out feeling like they had a good time. You know, I don't think we're teaching any any uh, deep abiding lessons here, except that people are kind of silly and petty, and it, and we you know we can recognize that and make fun of ourselves for it. Um, but yeah, no, I think and um, really just a anything to move, any, just have a good time.